start a drive later today. You can put the windows down. Yeah, it's be nice. definitely a windows down kind of day. A fantastic Friday in store for you as we're closing out this last day of the work week. We're closing out the last day of May. We are going to flip the calendar over to June tomorrow and we have a whole new pattern change for our weather coming with it as well. But we're looking good out in Greenwood this morning. A fantastic start to our day. A lot of sunshine. We do have a few high level clouds that have moved on in so we won't see skies as bright as yesterday, but still a lot of sunshine to be had. We're at 57 degrees in Indianapolis, 51 in Muncie, a cooler 46 in Richmond. So these temperatures this morning, I'd still say you might want long sleeves or a sweater to start the day on into the afternoon. You'll definitely want to opt for a lighter option. Satellite and radar very quiet. These are those high level clouds that are being thrown our way out ahead of the system. That's going to bring us some showers as we get into the weekend. So we have a lot of dry time between now and then. No rain in the forecast for your Friday. You can leave that umbrella at home, but take the sunglasses, the sunblock. By noon, we're in those low to mid 70s. By the late afternoon, we'll have high temperatures that'll be flirting with 80 degrees. Right around average for this time of year with those highs in those upper 70s. Our allergy tracker for today doesn't look great, but this is an improvement over the past couple of days where everything was at high levels. We have bumped down weed pollen from high down to medium levels, tree pollen, and and grass pollen. Those still remain the main allergens in our area at this time. We'll see clouds increasing on into the evening, but still dry tonight. So whether you're heading out to Ruoff for the Noah Khan concert, or maybe you're heading out to Victory Field to enjoy some baseball and some fireworks after the game, it's going to be a nice evening for any of your plans. Maybe some outdoor dinner plans. I'd say that those uh, should be on the table as well. Future view as we head towards noon, looking great. Again, more of those high level clouds coming on in through the day. And then as we head into your Saturday, that's when we'll bring back those rain chances. If you had any outdoor work that needed to be done tomorrow, I'd say pick the earlier morning hours to get that done because those rain chances will just increase as we head through the day. This is 8 a.m. and just see how this rain spreads into the state as we head through the morning. And here we are at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Some showers, a couple of thunderstorms, nothing severe expected for tomorrow afternoon. That continues into the evening. This is 8 p.m. And then as we head through the overnight hours, Saturday night into Sunday, we'll start to see this pulling off to the east. Sunday, we could still see a few lingering showers in the area and then maybe a few spotty to very widely scattered light showers into the afternoon. But we should find more dry time for Sunday and temperatures will warm up. We should see a high close to 80, turning more humid as we get into the second half of the weekend. So Sunday is definitely going to be the drier day of the two, but still some rain chances will be around at times. I have 79 today, 74 tomorrow and a high of 80 on Sunday. We're going to keep the unsettled pattern around as we head into next week. There will be periods of dry time in there as well, but daily rain chances and we'll keep that 80 degree warmth around at least through the middle of next week.